Hi again, everybody. Thanks for watching the Red Storm Report here on SNY. Nice to have you back. Now, earlier in the show, you had a chance to look at St. John's' journey to Alaska and what it was like through the eyes of the coaching staff and just how valuable a lesson it might be for the games and months and for some players on the team seasons ahead. Well, what about a different angle behind the scenes? We'll peel back a different curtain for you. It's called All Access. Here's Aaron Cerrone. Take a look. Hi, I'm Erin Sharoni, and we're back with We Are St. John's All Access. We're here in snowy Anchorage, Alaska, and we're about to take a trip through the eyes of the team as they participate in the Great Alaskan Shootout. So stay warm, sit back, and enjoy. The preparation for this tournament started probably about four weeks ago when we had to send out letters and talk to video coordinators throughout the country to get uh, all these game films for the upcoming teams that we're playing. The difference between this tournament and other ones is you have to prepare for the possibility of playing seven different teams. I cut down every single game that is on the computer for the coaches to watch and then they pick what they like out of that and then that's what we show to the team. enough for you outside here in Alaska, you can also buy some ice inside. And I'm going to dig into my red ice in honor of the red storm as you guys sit back and watch some more behind the scenes footage. You guys have been here with us in Alaska for a couple days now. You've gotten to see a behind the scenes view of what goes on on a trip like this. Now let's check out the Johnnies as they prepare for their next opponent at practice. Come with me. You guys got to create the walk with a bounce pass. I'm here with Coach Childs. Coach, you guys are going to be playing three games over the course of four days, which is the tightest turnaround other than in the Big East tournament. So how do you maximize your practice time efficiently to get the most out of it? Uh, well, what we do as coaching staff, we try to really make it more simple for them. We do a lot of film work, a lot of breakdown stuff. We try to just give the guys three or four things on offense and three or four things on defense that we need to focus in on for both teams because we know this is a quick turnaround for those guys. So we really don't want to spend a lot of time in the gym because we want to keep their legs fresh. So what we try to do is simplify it, make it really, really simple, give them a couple of key things to think about and try to keep them fresh, keep them off their legs. Sounds like a good plan. Thank Hopefully. You. <laughs> good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. I was hungry. We're not done though. We're not done. We, we got more to go. We got more to come. Couldn't be prouder of you guys as a group. We made progress. We came here to take care of business and we get to bring some hardware home as a result. Great work on three business. One, two, three. Business. Well, it's been a long week, guys, but it's a wrap with a win. We're heading back to New York with the hardware here at the airport. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week on We Are St. John's All Access. 
Nice job, Aaron. Good job by the Johnnies taking the Great Alaskan Shootout, bringing a trophy back to Queens. That'll do it for this week. Next week here on the Red Storm Report, we'll recap St. John's' battle with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, trying to get a little revenge at the Garden, and we'll let you know how they did right here on the Red Storm Report.